Andy Hilton for Recruit 757 here at Todd Stadium after a huge Woodside win, 44 to 41 over Denby. It had the feel of a prize fight. It had a little bit of cardiac nature as a coach, I'm sure, Coach. Uh, tell me a little bit about how the game progressed for you. Uh, you know, we, 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 we scored some early and let them back in. We couldn't make a stop in the second half. Uh, fortunately, we were able to score in the second half, too, and, and uh, you know, finally made a play at the end. You know, there were a couple of plays there that I thought might bite you. Uh, a fourth down failure to convert near midfield, actually in your own territory with about nine minutes left in the game. A two-point conversion that failed. Uh, how did those setbacks, what were the play calls there and obviously calculated risk, it worked out? Yeah, you know, I mean, two-point conversion, that's, that's one of those things. But I, you know, the, uh, the fake punt, we had that, we, we decided a while back that we were going to do that first time we had an opportunity and, and you know we probably should have had the first down first where a guy to ran with instead of trying to throw it and it had been a great play you know, I looked like a genius I looked like an idiot but uh, you know it, it worked out in the long run you guys were trailing what was going through your mind for that final drive I knew my man was going to be open I trust I trusted my receiver he's been telling me he's getting open trust and believe let him have it now you looked at, I'm sure you looked at all your options. He wasn't oh, yeah. the only receiver oh, yeah, you were yeah, yeah, looking yeah. at. So yeah. how did that play, uh, how did that progress? Because the weeks before when we've been running that play, they know I've been keying the tight end. So I heard them, they was like watching tight end. I knew they was on them. So I trusted my other guy, I had to get it done. I had to get it done. Awesome, now uh, just looking back through that game, it was a seesaw game, kind of a prize fight. You guys had the lead, you lost the lead, you got the lead back. What were you telling your teammates? I mean, as a quarterback, you've got to lead them in that huddle. What was going on in the huddle there? I mean, I just tell them we got to stay in the game. You know, we can't we can't give up. You know, you got to you got to stay in it, never give up. You know, coach tells us we got to finish the game all the time. So that's what we did this time. We finished the game and come out with a big one. Now we already talked to LJ about the huge play, the bomb that uh, won the game for you guys with uh, less than two minutes to go. What was how did that play call develop? We just want to send them all deep and see if we get a cheap one. We did. Uh, we sent four guys vertical, and they, they didn't. They didn't cover. Well, it bodes well for you. Looks like playoffs are in the cards. Seating has yet to be determined. You guys have a week off. What do you do with the two weeks that you have before your next game? I think you know we'll go out uh, next week and, and work on the things we need to work on just to fix ourselves. You know, we'll, we'll, we obviously have some some, some, some uh, things that we need to work on, um, and we'll you know we'll try to fix that. And we'll try to get an idea of who we might play, but we won't have any clue probably the next weekend. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach. Here with Coach Danny Dodson at Todd Stadium. 44 to 41 is the final score. Woodside over Denby. I'm Andy Hilton with Recruit757.com.